What's up YouTube? Welcome to Electro Brap. Today we are out front of Mikasa and I got a short little video for you. I wanted to talk about the weight of the bike and its weight distribution. Uh, I've seen a couple of things online where people tend to think that this bike is front heavy. Uh, it's probably because of the way that it looks. We're gonna put that to the test. I got a scale here and we're gonna see if this bike really is front heavy and we're gonna see how much a weight it's carrying over each tire. So let's check it out. All right, so here's the bike. If you've never been to my channel, this is my Ultra Redshift MXR. It's a fully electric bike and it's an absolute beast. Um, so what we got right here is this scale. It's good for 330 pounds and it's accurate within 0.2 pounds. It's actually my regular scale. I didn't go buy one. This is the one that I use. It is fairly accurate and for the purposes of figuring out weight distribution, it's going to work just fine. All right, we got the bike off the stand. We got the scale in place. We're going to put the bike and try and center it as best as we can and let's see how much uh, weight's on this front tire here. All right, a little tap. Scale on. Let's roll her back. Yep, it's a glass scale. Totally smart and safe and this is very scientific. So I'm just trying to balance the bike at its neutral point. I see the scales flashing, so that means it's done. 131.8 pounds. That actually makes sense. This thing's supposed to weigh 260, and that means that just about half of it is over the front tire. So if this thing really does weigh 260, that's a good sign. So, yep, totally smart and intelligent. That's what we do out here. Now, this video might be really short, but I think it's something that needs to be brought up. Um, people are making assumptions, and I, I just want to know the truth. And it's something that I thought that you guys might want to know as well. All right, so we got the scale on the back. Let's see how much weight's over this back tire. Turn it on back this thing up balance it let's see here 131.8 no way <laughs> that is awesome and a little bit surprising because it's a truly 50-50. Obviously, it's a bathroom scale. It's not perfectly accurate. I'm sure it's not the, you know, 0.2 pounds. I, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably not true. But it proves a point that all the weight is not in the front. Even though it appears to be in the front, somehow Ulta Sorcery has gotten 50% of the weight to go to the back. That's unbelievable. And then if you think about it, you know, 131.8 times 2, 163.6, so 3.6, 4.6 pounds actually, because they advertise this bike at 159 pounds. So that's 4 pounds more than the advertised weight, but I probably added at least 2 or 3, maybe 4, um, to the bike with the skid plate and the handguards and I changed the tires as well. So that's probably where the four pounds is coming from. Everything's adding up, the stars are lining, things are making sense, the bike weighs what it's supposed to weigh, Ulta's dead on the money, and the weight distribution is exactly 50-50. That's a testament to what Ulta engineers have done with this thing. And I just, I'm pumped. I'm pumped to know that. And now I wanna get another bike and test it and see if it's the same thing. So this is my 125. She's an old girl, she needs a top end. The tank is totally empty right now. This bike's already a super light bike and with an empty tank, it's gonna be even lighter. So compared to the Alta, 
I'm expecting this to be much lighter, but I'm curious to see if there's gonna be that 50-50 weight distribution as well. So let's give her a go. Oh, she's not as pretty as she used to be, I'll tell you that. All right, let's see how much weight's on this front wheel. All right, let's go. 107.6. Okay. So let's see what's on the back tire here. We got the scale behind just like we had on the Ulta. Turn the scale on, roll it, get it up on there. I'm not holding the bike, I'm just balancing it with my thumb. 110.2. It went away, but 110.2. It's almost 50-50. If the tank, if there was gas in the tank, I think it would be about 50-50. Um, so the Ulta has the same weight distribution as a regular bike, and it turns out that even a 01 YZ125 is still very close to a 50-50 weight distribution. I find that incredible, to be honest with you. But on this bike, it seems more reasonable. It looks more reasonable. Um, with the Ulta, it deceives your eyes. So it really just seems like it's not possible, but it, it in fact it is. It's really cool. It's really cool. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. I found that super interesting. If you did too, please smash that like button. If you want to see more videos like this or some of the shenanigans that we get into with the Alta MXR, hit that subscribe button and stay in the loop for when new videos are posted, which happens weekly. And as always, until next time, Electro out.